Okay. <clears throat> I'm in the living room, so I hope y'all can see me much better. I hope the quality of the video is better. I have a light above me, but there's two subjects I want to talk about. I, I always want to get shit off my chest so I don't have to forget and put it out there so y'all know. Because there's something that, you know, I started to notice and I wasn't sure if I should take um, offense to it or not. But it is what it is, right? Because people is going to be people no matter what. So, okay. I just got back from my dermatologist appointment. It was good. I learned something new. And then my doctor said I could get a chemical pill, you know, within three months. If the cream that I um, constantly put on my face doesn't work well. So, there was a time where I, I dated guys, right? And one man in particular, I was comparing a lot of guys to this man because I started to see different character traits that he had, I noticed in other guys. So after watching another video on YouTube that was kind of letting me know that it's okay to feel what you feel, like if you feel like you're in pain, say you're in pain and you deal with it that's your way of growing and that's your way of you know get things out in the open so you can move on because you can't move on unless you address the feeling that you have about somebody so this is me addressing the feeling that i have about somebody because i kept it locked up for 10 months i never talked about this with anybody so I was like, I might have safe face. I might have, you know, put on a happy face and be like, yo, I'm good. You know, everything is fine. I'm going to move on. But I never addressed the issue. I never addressed my feelings. So now I get to address it. But sadly, I can't address it to the person I want to address it because that person wants to ignore me as if I'm the person that did, you know, me dirt, him dirty, whatever. He did me dirty. So... Let's just say, for example, if you, if you was told that you don't realize what people's realizing about you, but you want them to tell you, but then you turn around and get upset. I don't know if I made this video. I have deja vu right now. I feel like I made this video a while ago. Well, that's what happened. This person got upset with me because everything he was telling me to do, I did. Like he wanted me remind him of things he wanted me to let him know if there's anything he probably say or did that he didn't realize to let him know so i did we constantly had arguments about it so a description of what i put on this man was narcissistic gaslighter condescending immature a person who keeps too much secrets who is shady controlling possessive, um, verbally abusive because it's really fucked up how you could sit here and date somebody you claim to love, but let that person know. Like every time you hear her say something that gets her excited, like for example, I share my dreams and my aspirations to this man. My dream was to become a business owner, become a book writer. I have a deep passion for writing stories and I love crime stories and then I told him about it. Then I told him about my passion for cooking. Deep down inside, he felt like I did not fit that quality of being a, a chef or he felt like I wasn't good enough to be in this world to become a chef and to own my own business. And in his own words, he tried to make me feel by saying that even though that's a great idea, I believe in you, but at the same time, do you really have what it takes? And that made me feel some type of way because why don't you just come out and say it full blown? I don't think you're going to be a good chef. I don't think this is that. Even though this man never ever tried my food before. Then we shoot down to a couple of weeks later. So we had a very important conversation. And this is where the condescending behavior begins. Because every time I will 
pull up receipts about stuff and confront him with his behavior or his what he's not doing because that used to bother me a lot what he wasn't doing and I hate when people tries to cross him and he doesn't really do much about it like when it comes to the relationship that me and him had together I noticed that he has never complained about his baby mother until after we started dating we was friends for two weeks but we started dating after those two weeks and he went from not saying nothing about nobody from the West Coast to saying a lot. So I'm like, you don't realize that once you start moving on to somebody better, X is going to pop up out the Woolworth. They're going to be complaining. They're going to be trying to get back with you. They will do everything they can under the sun to get back with you. So us as women, we already know how women are. And we know how we roll when it comes to seeing our exes flourish. You see our exes upgrading some of them because none of my exes ever upgrade shit um, after seeing them on social media and them in real life. But if you see somebody doing them and they're happy and they concentrating on making their money, concentrating on the relationship they have with their new woman, why would you want to come in and fuck that up? Especially if we didn't do nothing to fuck y'all relationship up because mind you, I didn't know anything about this man before I met him on, you know, social media. So I don't know nothing about his family. I don't know nothing about his kids. I don't know nothing about his exes. So I'm trying to see what people are seeing because the one where people was describing this man was narcissistic. And I didn't see that in him. So I was like, let me date him and see this. And then I started listening to this tarot card reader. And before, like I said, I was very skeptical about a lot of tarot card readings. So I wanted to acknowledge my feelings based on the conversations we had because I felt like he tries to, you know, um, gaslight me and stop me from feeling something. So if I was to say to him, like, hey, what you said to me made me feel some type of way. I was uncomfortable with you putting me in a position to make um, to make a decision I didn't want to make. Like, he would make me uncomfortable by, you know, how you say it? I swear to God, if he was right next to me, he would be in my face like this and force me to say what he wants me to say or force me to agree to what he wants me to agree with. Because he wants me to conform to what he wants me to conform to which is the type of woman he wants and it's just as easy to say that this is the type of woman I'm looking for and this is the type of man I am I'm not budging I'm not negotiating and that would have let me know like okay then I'm free to move on so this is the time now to get everything out in the open because I had I hid my feelings so long. I hate when you try to be nice to people and you're trying to be forgiven and you tell this person, hey, I understand what you're going through. I understand that you have a tough time in life. You're having a tough time with your job. You're going through a lot of situations and you don't want me to be a part of it. You don't want to bring the stress onto me. I understand that you're not conform to what society is trying to do with the whole dating situation, meaning be attentive, be sensitive, be empathetic, and be mindful of women. Learning how to adapt to a type of life where it is all about you and this woman rather than about you. You can't sit here and say, me, 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 if you're trying to become a we. And this is what I was trying to do because I say every time I, end, I get in a relationship with somebody, I went from being a me to being a we. So it was no longer, I want to do this. I want to, you know, do that. I want to make this happen is what we're going to do, what we're going to make happen. But he couldn't do that. He could even try to do that to make our relationship better. And then I understand that he's not used to talking to women. He's not used to explaining anything to women. He's not used to being mindful of women and their feelings. I'm trying to say these things the best way possible without being nasty about it. 
So that's why y'all hear me talk like this a certain way because I bet y'all never heard me say anything like this. But I just started to notice a lot of characteristics about him that I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, happy with. I couldn't even come close to accepting it. So he was very selfish. Like I said, he was very, you know, very egotistical and controlling. So to him, everybody has to conform to him. He don't have to conform to nobody else. Then he'll make you feel some type of way if you choose yourself and your decisions over him. Like, I'm a woman. I have needs. I have a future. He never thinks. And then he had a nerve to give his father all the accolades and props in the world for being a narcissistic, condescending abuser that didn't give a shit about women, that don't respect women and their choices, overstep his boundaries, and then act like he is the victim rather than the perpetrator. Because you're constantly doing women wrong, even as much as ignoring women, ignoring women's needs, ignoring women's feelings. And he's too old for this. Like, this man is in his 60s. And I'm sitting here like, what in the entire fuck is going on with you? Like, one thing you should never do is give your father props for being an abuser. If your father taught you how to be the man you are today, I would slap the shit out of his father and not give him no props because this is not what a man does. And then two, how do you expect to be in a relationship with somebody if you could never ever come like come to the point of being about we and saying we including the woman into you into your world and having to remind yourself that this is a woman so you have to be empathetic you have to be sympathetic or whatever the case is you have to include her into everything that you do then you would have thought by him being married before that he would know how to be a couple. He would know how to be sensitive to a woman's needs and he would know how to give in. And just like a woman is supposed to submit to her man, you're supposed to submit to your woman. This is not a one way street. This is not the 1920s and 1950s where the woman has to be seen but not heard the woman don't have no voice the woman don't have no rights so you as a man you could belittle her you could chop her down to size and make her feel less than a person or you could sit here and abuse her verbally and make her feel like she ain't shit she don't have no right what you say goes and that's not right that's not how it is today this is 21st century first of all this is 2024 the women of today is not like that. And ain't no way you're going to be with somebody and they're going to let you do what the hell you want to do to them. And then not uh, take accountability for your actions. That's another, you know, horrible thing you have going on in your life. Because if you was to do anything to anybody, whether it's accidental or deliberate, take accountability. So back to what I was saying before, if you try to be forgiving and understanding to somebody and you have let go some of the issues in the past and you're ready to move on and this person still being nasty to you, even though you're trying to have a conversation with them and say, hey, I just want to say I forgive you. I'm not holding grudges against you. If we can't be cool with each other, then fine, but we could still move on. Or if you want to work things out, let's work it out. And they still act nasty to you. It's because they deliberately wanted to run you off. They deliberately acted that way so they could get rid of you out of their lives. Because the one thing that makes a person run out of your life quicker than anything else and make sure you don't come back is by you deliberately doing something heinous to them and very disrespectful to them very horrible to them to make them look at you as a different person and not forgive you and i think at this point he deliberately did that now for somebody who approaches you first on social media tries to um, get you to date them and then you're blurring out the word i love you three days after meeting them why on earth would you try your hardest to run them off? Why would you try your hardest to get rid of them by being selfish and disrespectful to them, gaslighting them, 
and then being mean to them and disrespectful like and condescending when they talk because when i speak and you say here like okay i'm sorry if you feel that way but what do you know it's like i wouldn't be surprised if you do this to anybody else how would you respond to that like seriously for women out there if you was to be told that and this person was to act that way to you how would you respond to that because this is what i'm not understanding so that's why i did what i did which was i cursed him out and yes i yelled at him we got into an argument and i chopped him down a size or two by letting him know about himself and then when i said what i said he was shocked like his face was like what he couldn't believe it so i felt kind of good but at the same time i was upset because i was like ain't no way in hell that i could sit here and put in all my energy and love to this man and he does this to me he's not putting in the energy i put in he's not being mindful and you know attentive and respectful he is being on some you know back in the days this is what we do like he lives in the past so he's treating me as if his father would treat his mom so i'm looking at him like no wonder why you never had a very good upbringing and you only going by what your parents are showing you and it's sad sometimes you have to look at it and like you are very sad and i feel sorry for the next woman that comes into your life because god forbid if this woman don't have the strength that i have and up and leave your ass it's like if she conforms to his lifestyle and do what he tells her to do her life is over like seriously her life is really over with and god and the universe i'm sure in some way shape or form they're going to shake him up and teach him a valuable lesson because the one lesson he needs to learn about women is you cannot put a one size fit all behavior and you cannot sit here and possibly think that these women is going to take your shit okay i don't understand what is the big deal why you can't seem to you know stop being an egotistical maniac being controlling possessive being disrespectful and acting like you're some you know you're your father old school strict with the rules abusive type of guy like he didn't believe in romance he didn't believe in being mindful and being courteous and being given to a woman and being given to the wrong woman it was detrimental to his life because now he's over here complaining about going to court becoming broke doing this doing that and what you're not realizing is that that's the universe telling you something but since you want to ignore that that's why the universe is going to keep kicking you in your ass and keep telling you the same shit over and over until you get it through your head and i don't know if he's ever going to see these videos i don't know if he still watches my videos but if you do oh well i hope this teaches you a, a, a very valuable lesson because this is not it how your behavior was with me it wasn't it it wasn't it back then it's not it now but we're not well we're not even talking no more we're not even in contact with each other thank god but i really do thank the lord for protecting me because by him doing what he did to me god is pretty much saying that you deserve better okay i'm going to bring somebody in your life that's not going to treat you well that's not going to talk to you with respect because you need to understand your value you need to understand who the hell you are step into your truth and think of yourself in a like put yourself on a, a pedestal and say to yourself you deserve better because you are better when you do better you become better and you will never step foot back into that space ever again so that's the lesson that i learned was to never give myself and wholeheartedly to the wrong person the minute i see red flags walk away rather than sit there and keep trying and trying and trying until we can't try no more because that's what i was trying to do with this man i cared about this man so much and i had loved him so deeply because he poured his heart out to me and he never seen 
to realize anything about me. He never seemed to accept and thank me for being a person I was to him. So that's how I know he didn't deserve me.